hi guys welcome back to my channel if you are old here thanks if you are new here please kindly subscribe and turn on the notification bell so that you get notified when i upload a new video today we are going to do something different so let's get started here i'm going to use seven by four inches then leave the resolution at 300 and great then pick this line hold your shift key and drag it then increase the size to 3 so that the line will come out good then i'm going to position this guideline at the center here okay then you drag it what i do there is to i apply warp then curve it so the reason of my guideline here is what you are seeing i did it so that it will enable the uh, the line to be straight so i'm going to fast forward here because of time All this line here is for guideline. I'm going to use all this line for a guideline so that when I start, then it will direct me on how to put it. Now group it. So now that I have group, then I'm going to draw a rectangle at the top here. So here you will see plenty code numbers. So this code color, I mean, is what I'm going to use to apply all the color. Then you drag it. So I'm following those lines you are seeing. As you can see, I'm following the line. I apply those lines for a guideline so that the work will be perfect then select your pen tool then I'm fo follow the guideline which is the line I draw I draw over there and hold your control key then position it well then you combine it then again select your pen tool then follow this line then you come to this place you drag it Hold your control key, then resize this properly. Then hold your control key again. Then apply it properly.
now so i'm going to select my pen tool again then i'm going to draw this line here start from that place then i will come over here combine it then i'll also draw this one then click out then you drag it hold your alt key then you combine it so i not told you about that so while you are dragging to combine it you have to hold your alt key then you click so that the shape will not bend so i'm setting it properly then drag it down so that the formal line will show okay now as you can see i'm drawing another line so then this one i'm going to curve it select this point then come over here then you drag your hand then you combine it before you combine it make sure you hold your alt key so that you click on the knot there When you are doing this, make sure you hold your control key. Then I'm going to draw another one again. Then come over here. Then you drag. Then your alt key. Then you combine. Then I'm going to draw another one again. Drag it. Then hold your alt key. Then you click there. Come over here. You drop it over here. Then hold your Alt key. Sorry, you hold your Control key then to arrange it properly. Okay, I'm done with the shape now. Then duplicate this one, Ctrl J. You can see as I drag it down, I have a black color over there. Now I'm going to select the upper one again. Then these are the code I'm going to use. Remember, the way I'm following. Now, select this one, then Ctrl V to paste the color code you copy, then come back again to copy this code here. Then select the last one, then you copy again and paste. So this one is black, then reduce the opacity to 
just like the way I do the first one. Then, now I'm going to this place to copy the color code. Remember, all these color you are seeing, they have their angles. And their locations. So, you will also need to input the locations. Then revise it. Click OK. So this is what we have. Now we can see the angles over there and the scale. So all those code you are seeing, then take note of them. So now this is the first one, the first shape now from this angle. So you can see copy this color the first one is already black so is to continue on the second color code and remember the location input the location then copy the last one also input the location then paste so these are the things you have to take note I have already provided them and I will upload them so that you can make use of it Now we are on the second one. So input the location. We also need to confirm the color code because in that color code there are little changes of color code. They are not all the same. Now input the angle and the scale. Hold your control key then to position this one so that that space will be covered. So no need to copy the first one because all the first known code are the same. So I'm going for the second one. Now this is the third shape. So there is already black. So what I will do is to change the location. So change the location the angles and the scale so you change it here are the outcomes
all right group it so i will rename it as the background now select the shape again then draw it over here then you click here then you combine it Alright, then I'm going to change this color to black. Make sure it's in line together. Then drag it down. put it properly okay so as you can see now then i'm going to draw another rectangle over here then reduce it to 50 percent Then draw another rectangle over here. Then copy this layer style. Then drag it down. Drag this one down so that the one with yellow color will be at the top of it. Then I delete that rectangle because it's too big. Then I'm going to draw another one. That will be smaller size. This is okay. Then reduce this one by holding your shift key. It's okay like this. Now, copy this test here. Then, Ctrl V to paste. Make it bold. The font here is railway. Then you copy, duplicate this one, Ctrl J. Double click, then Ctrl V to paste. Make it capital letter, break it, then close the space a bit, then drag this one back. Then draw a line here. 
apply this color then ctrl j to duplicate ctrl v then change the color to yellow you can see this color code it's okay like this then reduce this one also reduce this one and then use the arrow key then to drag it back then reduce this line it's okay then you move this one up then copy this one draw a cycle over here then use this red color select your test tool ctrl v to paste then drag it here then change the font to acrobat then hold your shift key apply vertical alignment Ctrl J to duplicate it, select it, then you type off. Now on the cycle, I'm, I'm going to apply this drop shadow, you can see the code there. Then copy this feature, Ctrl C. Select your test tool, Ctrl V to paste. Make it bold. Then use this yellow color code. Then copy this one. I'm going to draw a line here. Then leave it white color. Ctrl J to duplicate this test. Position it over here. Then Ctrl V to paste. Change the color to white, then Ctrl V to paste. Make it semi bold, then open the space, make it 10. It's okay. Then you group it, drag this one up, then you group this one, now I'm going to draw another line here,
duplicate it then apply this yellow color then I'm going to copy this one first then duplicate this one drag it down over here then control V to paste reposition it over here and reduce the font size then copy this one control C then duplicate the test here control V to paste now I'm going to reposition this one reduce it arrange it properly okay now I'm going to then make it this way then drag the top to this position then bring it down then come back to copy this color I mean the test then make it bold all right now use your arrow key then to drag this one up so make sure is properly aligned then ctrl c to copy select your test tool then you paste okay now copy again So I'm going to draw a rectangle over here. Apply this color. Then rotate it. Hold your control key. Okay. Then reduce the size. Then Ctrl V to paste the test you copy earlier. Rotate it. Ctrl J to duplicate it. Then you copy your test. Ctrl V to paste. Come over again to copy. Then you duplicate this one, Ctrl J, highlight it, then Ctrl V to paste. Reduce the font size. Okay, so we are done with this one. Make it more bold. All right, so the next thing again is to copy this contact, Ctrl V to paste, then change the color to red here, then make it bold,
Now we can remove the guard line. Then apply vertical alignment. Then Ctrl C to copy the text here. Select your text to Ctrl V to paste. Then change the color to black. I think here is okay. Then Ctrl J to duplicate it. Select it. Come over here to copy. Then Ctrl V to paste. Now I'm going to change the font there to Acrobat. Then you drag it over here. Then copy this one again. Drag it over here. Then Ctrl C to copy. Ctrl V to paste. Then Ctrl J to duplicate that one. Position it over here. Ctrl C to copy. Then Ctrl V to paste. okay so now the last thing i'm going to do now i'm going to draw a rectangle over here then change the color to white Then bring this image The image is not going to be included in the description So we have to get an image to use for practice Then drag this one up so that the black will appear Then apply clipping mask. So that is it. Please, if you like this video, kindly subscribe. Then and turn on the notification bell. So remember to share and make a comment.